you got here? Did you feel like that, I don't know, set you back is the right way to put it, but just not having a senior year, did it take a little longer to adapt? Oh uh, yeah, it definitely took a, I would say a little bit of an adjusting period. Cause, you know, you don't get that, that year of experience, but uh, you know, Coach Witted and uh, you know the rest of the offensive staff, you know, they helped me a lot, you know, get me in positions that I'm used to at first, you know, to get me adjusted to the college game. And that's when, you know, the adjustment started to, you know, come a little bit easier. Coach Witted mentioned you were dealing with a hamstring injury or something last year. How what did that happen? How long did that keep you sideline? Yeah, so uh, around like the second week of fall camp, uh, I pulled my, my hamstring and uh, that probably lasted around five weeks and then I probably wasn't fully healthy until around week five we played Purdue or week six I forget when it was um, and then I got hurt again I hurt my hamstring again and then that's when I came back in the fall again. Same hamstring? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. This offseason Elvis mentioned more strength for you playing strong uh, do you think you had like significant gains uh, in winter conditions? Yeah, uh, for sure. I would say winter conditions definitely helped me a lot. Um, you know, Coach Snee and our strength staff, they do a great job with us in the weight room and, you know, out here when we're running. And I think that's where I really started to see some some big strides and not only, you know, my, my route running and, you know, just my play all around. I'm more physical in the run game and things like that. So I would say definitely being in the weight room helped a lot this summer. That helped me, you know, get this, get a, a bigger jump than I probably thought I would. What do you think you've done on the field, especially this spring? Because it seems like you've been getting a lot of the one reps, making a lot of plays the last couple of weeks. Is there something you think you've done differently to highlight your game? Um, just studying the game more, more film study, uh, meeting with the coaches, uh, just being able to you know see the game and slow the game down. Because uh, when I first got here, I was kind of everybody knew I was fast, but I was almost playing a little too fast. And you know now I'm able to slow the game down and. You know, see the defenses and you know execute what I need to do. What did the Las Vegas Bowl do you think just do for your confidence? Not only just getting on the field in, in a lot of different uh, reps, but uh, being able to make a catch in a big time game like that. How, how did that maybe change your mindset coming into the spring? Just you know, knowing you're play at this level. Uh, it was definitely a confidence booster for sure. Um, you know, you get to play in a game like that, a bowl game at the end of the season, and you know they. They allowed me, they trusted me enough to put me in the game. And, you know, our motto is, you know, when the ball comes your way, make a play. And, you know, I got the chance and I uh, fulfilled the opportunity. I think that after that, I had to talk to Coach with it and, you know, just build on it. Just build on it this spring and, you know, don't, don't regress, uh, you know, progress. Uh, and, you know, keep getting better and things like that. And I think I'll, uh, he's helped me do a good job of that. Between playing on the outside and playing in the slot, do you feel like you could do both or is there one you know, you're more comfortable with than the other that you know, allows your game to be highlighted more? Um, I would say uh, I'm a I'm more on the outside just because of the way our offense is run. But you know, I'm more, I'm very comfortable going to the slot. You know, different formations, sets, and personnel. But um, I do like being on the outside a lot uh, because of my speed and my athleticism and things like that. But uh, I, I do like playing both for sure. In terms of this spring, and just with the 11 practices that have been out there, what strides have you seen specifically just in these 11 sessions that have popped out to you for yourself? Bro? I would say uh, my confidence uh, is, jumps out immediately. Uh, I'm just more confident on the field. Um, I know what I, I know what I have to do when the play is called. I know how to execute it. And you know, uh, like like I said, when the ball comes your way, just make a play. And you know that's something we've been doing as receivers our whole life. So you know that that's the easy part. The hard part is you know getting open and things like that. So I think you know my confidence is is just higher when than what it was when I first got here. For sure. When the when the ball comes, obviously you know opposing teams are going to be pretty focused uh, on DK. Uh, based on what you guys have done this spring, how many guys do you think you have that can go out, and take the top off the defense, or you know just be a threat out there that you know maybe opposing defenses aren't ready for because you haven't put on film yet. Uh, my opinion, all of us, um, you know, all of us that you see out there, we can all, you know, run fast, we can all, we're all athletic, we can all make plays, and it's just a matter of, you know, who's out there, because I think in my eyes, you know, our ones, our twos, and our threes, we can all go out there and make plays, you know, from Chim, me, Marcus, uh, Kalu, Dean, um, Bracey when he comes back, so, you know, I think that, you know, we have a, a good group, and you know, we're ready to make plays. So.